According to court documents, in addition to adopting Isabella, the Kaluas also adopted her two biological siblings. They also fostered another biological sibling of Isabella's. And with new court documents revealing details provided by Isabella's older sister, legal experts say information from witnesses can be the game changer in investigations. Chrissy thomas continues our coverage with a story that's new tonight at 9. Ricky Roy Damerville prosecuted the Peterborough Kelma case, a case that gripped the state back in 1997. 20 years later, justice was finally served when Peter Boyd's father and mother were convicted for his death. And with new court documents released Friday in the Isabella Kalua case, Damerville says it feels all too familiar. When I was interviewed about uh, the Kemet case, I said it's going to happen again, and it's happened multiple times since then. Court documents say Isabella's 12-year-old sister revealed gruesome details to detectives. Peter Boy's brother and two sisters last saw him alive in June of 1997. In that case, the Kemet siblings also brought dark details to light. The fact that there's siblings involved, the fact that the police had a little bit better jump start on this case, they got into it maybe a month after the child probably died, whereas the White County Police Department was not even aware of the situation until at least six months after the child died. According to court documents, detectives spoke with Isabella's sister on November 5th when she revealed these new details. Damerville says police likely face challenges trying to interview the siblings. But anytime you try and interview a minor, legally, you're supposed kind of supposed to notify the guardian and if the guardian's a perpetrator that creates problems when questioning children comes to play child interviewers are brought in if they're under threats or if they're under uh, any admonitions not to cooperate they may give you one set of stories first the youngest child is likely to give you the truth first and you don't want to interview the older ones too early because if you do and they give you one story and then they finally come over and give you the truth. That's a difficulty you'll have to deal with the trial. Now police are looking for more witnesses who may have interacted with Isabella and her sisters between 2019 and August of this year. Also, anyone who may have seen Lehua or Isaac Kalua during August or September of this year was encouraged to contact Crime Stoppers. Christy Thomas, Shiro, KH12 News, working for Hawaii.